What's up everybody? I am Dr. Karen McDowell and I am here today to talk to you about sunshine. Sunshine! Now I know a lot of you that follow me and watch my videos identify as uh, night owls and gothic vampires and all of that. Super cool, love it. But I'm going to try to pull you over to the light side for like just a few minutes, just a little bit every day to help your body, to help your mood, to help you cope with what's going on in the world today. I am a licensed psychologist. I'm a therapist. I'm an educator. I'm a speaker. I do all kinds of things. I make cool videos, uh, play with my dogs a lot, do lots of things in this area. Um, tend to be indoorsy myself. I'm a little bit more of an indoorsy person, um, but I do recognize sunshine is medication. And so try to take my meds every day. So today for you, I have five reasons that sunshine is badass. But before we get into five reasons sunshine is badass, I want to say that sun entering your body is a photosynthesis process. Now, you know photosynthesis as a plant word, right? You know that plants are magic and they take sunlight and they turn it into oxygen and they turn it into other things that are good and make pollen and do plants. Photosynthesis is this process of taking the sun in and generating goodness from it. So when your skin, when your body takes in sunlight, processes it, does something good with it, that's photosynthesis. So if you believe in plant photosynthesis, which is science, then you can also believe in human photosynthesis, which is also science. My five tips. Number one, when you are exposed to sunlight, your body generates more serotonin, which is the neurotransmitter that helps balance mood, keep you stable, keep you kind of even. It's not the feel good chemical, um, that's dopamine, um, but serotonin is the mood regulation. And so serotonin, when somebody has depression or an anxiety, serotonin is one of the first places we look because that's got a huge, huge impact on that. So it's not like little sun comes down and it's like, hello, I'm serotonin, let me in. Let me in. It's not like that. Sunlight photosynthesizes in the body to create that, to create serotonin. Now you might feel like this is similar because when you take medications for anxiety and depression, very often they deal with serotonin, but it's a little bit different. Um, when you take a medication talking about serotonin, that medication is helping the body um, take in more serotonin. It's helping it absorb it and process the serotonin better. It's not necessarily handling the generation of serotonin, the creation of serotonin. Sunlight is helping create that serotonin. So sunlight actually goes really well with medication because if you're getting sunlight, photosynthesis making more serotonin, but your body can't, your brain can't really absorb it, your body can't really um, uptake it the way that it needs to, then you can take a medication that helps your brain take in more of that. When the serotonin bubbles go into your brain, then they're like, oh yeah, I'll take you. Let's come in, we want more of you. Um, that's what medications do. Sometimes when we're dealing with mild depression and anxiety, we might say, get more sunshine, it's gonna make more serotonin. But if it gets a little more severe, we might say maybe you're making serotonin, but you're not taking enough of it in in your brain. So let's add a med in there to kind of help with that uptake of serotonin. The second reason sunshine is badass is because it counters melatonin. So if you've ever had trouble sleeping, you might have heard of taking melatonin at night it helps. It's the chemical that your brain says like, oh, it's time to sleep, let's go to sleep. Like the little sleeping Kool-Aid your brain drinks. And if you have problems with sleep, you might take melatonin, but your brain naturally creates that. Now there's a little bit of an issue because Melatonin, the part of your brain that generates the melatonin is taking signals from sunlight or from light in general, which is why if you're on your screens, if you're watching TV, if you're on your phone when you're trying to fall asleep, your brain is like, well, don't need melatonin yet. We're still doing things. So it takes about an hour after you stop watching screens or looking at your phone, it takes about an hour for that melatonin to be like, oh, okay, yeah, we need, it's time for sleep. We need to kick in that melatonin. On the other side of things, sunshine is what tells that to stop. We don't need any more melatonin brain, it's time to wake up. So in the mornings, if you have trouble waking up, sunshine is a really great way to tell the brain to stop making melatonin. So if you have trouble waking up, if you can just like crawl yourself to the window and like lay out the window for another 10 minutes while you snooze, your brain's gonna be going ahead and getting that signal to stop that melatonin. So if you have trouble waking up in the mornings, incorporate more sunshine, you're gonna find your brain gets jazzier faster if you get enough sunlight in the mornings. The third reason sunshine is badass is because it, it creates vitamin D. Now, vitamin D is a, is a supplement that's really important. You've heard of it for, you know, bone health, things like that, but it also counters inflammation. Um, now, vitamin D is really hard to get just from foods naturally. Usually, if you have a vitamin D deficiency, you're gonna need to take supplements, but the best supplement is free 
and that is sunshine. Sunshine creates vitamin D in the body, which is going to help your bones. It's going to help your overall health. Um, and it's also going to help your immune system. It's gonna help fight away inflammation if you have chronic pain, if you have headaches, if you have things like that. Five minutes of sunshine a day makes such a huge difference in how the body processes and responds to inflammation. Also, five minutes of sunshine a day um, helps absorb calcium better and it helps reduce your risk of cancer, which I know is weird because they say that sunlight is cancer, but we know that not enough sunshine causes cancer also. So you have to have that right amount. Reason number four that sunshine is so badass is that it is a natural supplement to any other interventions you do. If you're going to therapy, if you are taking meds, if you are um, any of the exercising more, trying to feel better, handling your depression and anxiety, sunshine is just like a boost for all of those. It's just like you, you got the power up. Um, so any intervention, any intervention, adding five minutes of sunshine a day is going to make that intervention work better. And it's not that one plus one is two, like meds plus sunshine equals the, the sum of the parts, but it actually interacts in a way that makes it exponentially more effective. You are going to find that your meds work better, that your exercise works better, that your therapy works better if you are incorporating sunshine also. The fifth reason that sunshine is so badass is that it lowers your blood pressure. So when you're photosynthesizing all of those little sun particles, your, create, your body is creating a chemical called nitric oxide. Nitric oxide is what helps regulate and reduce your blood pressure, which reduces your you know your heart rate obviously um, and it reduces anxious symptoms so there can be a problem when you have high blood pressure because high blood pressure mimics anxiety in a lot of ways it cause you know your heart palpitations and feel like you can't breathe and so sometimes people with high blood pressure feel like they have anxiety people with anxiety end up having the high blood pressure and it just goes around and round and round and round and round so we're trying to we try to break that cycle and one of the ways you can break that cycle is by adding more sunshine in your life more nitric oxide in your body is gonna reduce your blood pressure, which is gonna reduce some of those anxious feeling symptoms, the, the heart, heart racing and the can't breathe, those kind of things, those are gonna be reduced, which is going to reduce your anxiety. Um, so it can, it can, it can be cyclical in a good way. It reduces your anxiety, it reduces your blood pressure, it lowers your risk of stroke, lowers your risk of heart attack. So those are my five reasons why sunshine is so badass. Your assignment today is to get some sunshine. Surprise, surprise. Five minutes a day, roll around outside. If you need some sunscreen, totally fine. Still works. You are a giant photosynthesis machine. Sunshine, free medication. Hop outside, get some free meds. It would be awesome for you. Hit me up on Facebook, hit me up on Instagram, Twitter, subscribe, like on YouTube. When you share, it makes such a huge difference. If you found any value in this, please share this with somebody else. Helps keep my work going and help keep helps keep me able to do these things and make videos and talk about things that I think are interesting. So I'll see you in the next video. Have an excellent week and take good care.